This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or... I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. This seems a bit more lively. So, not this way then. exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie? Beautiful name. It, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Um, have you been waiting here a while? More than a minute, and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am... I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> 
Truly. <sighs> wow. I didn't realize you were, like, famous famous. Famous construct. And I'm not. Oh, no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, by like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. to happen I don't know but I am digging the theatrics <laughs> ah good I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival there are a great many things that require my attention at the moment and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together <clears throat> ah yes and speaking of needing attention uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's 
just Maddie. Oh, my mistake. Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Ah! <laughs> 
no, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh... Let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. <laughs> Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right. Everybody settle, and hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, 
dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait. You guys are both acting, so it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador? <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, 
Whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal Ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. I <laughs> called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss Beebe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. What exactly were the reporters asking about? I don't know. They're reporters. They just want to dig up dirt. They had to have been on to something if they kept coming back. What? Well, just forget about it. Everybody around here has. Except Sheriff Green. Fine. If you guys aren't interested in filling me in, I'll find someone else who is. Okay. Good luck. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My 
darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 10 bucks? So let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure, of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Uh, all right, all right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, nope. try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh. Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> Yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore. I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity Shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. So... Who's gonna do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <sighs> no, I'm just... You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. I know you're all nervous to talk to the big, scary drugstore clerk, but just... Think about it like acting, which you're great at. Uh, you know how to act, too. Yeah, but people around here actually like you. I don't know. That's the secret ingredient for most celebrities. Anybody can act. Well, 
some people can act. But making people like you is like a superpower. Well, I am pretty charming. That's why I love you. Mwah. Oh, brother. Break a leg, you're gonna knock him dead. Okay. Keep that up and his head's not gonna fit out the door. Yeah, um, got a weird one for you. <laughs> this camera, um, so uh, it's not pretty. The lens is busted, and Cursed I don't know if movies? you guys are able to help with really? something like that, but I really be a need to get it fixed. Day. So I just figured I'd come in and check. So yeah, I was wondering if you could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you can help us with. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. to get us a good deal. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. We're so close to finishing the movie. Missing kid. I hope they're found. Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of murder mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? All right, look. Just be straight with me. What's the deal with you and Jaime? What do you mean? All that lovey-dovey shit back there. Uh... You said, I love you.
Uh, I said I love him because I love him. You met two months ago, and you've only been going out for like three weeks. And you're already throwing down the L word? Come on. Whoa, easy there, mom. That's just, it's kind of fast. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey, you. <laughs> Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest-to-goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> hey. So, got bad news and good news. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now. Ta-da. Uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. <sighs> I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once. But I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on! Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Shall we? If this is a trap, and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper, I'm selling you out first chance I get. Likewise, compadre. Let's just take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. And again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not... I'm not saying we should just steal something. Yeah, you're right. I guess we can't finish the movie if we all get sent up the river. I don't think they send people up the river for shoplifting. <laughs> Why don't we spread out? Start over there. Oh, cute bunny.
know what that is, but it looks painful. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. So, I've been thinking about gothic romance novels. <laughs> Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Like I was saying. About gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene. What kind of extra scene? There's, I don't know, a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to save and, you know, why. I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. Ten to one she brings as a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh. Give her a minute. And in, no, maybe in this one. Oh, yes. Here you are. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Okay, sure. 
I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? 